Hi, I'm Mike Kraft. After a season of mowing your lawn, you might be inclined to just store your mower in the corner of the garage and wait for spring. But your mower needs a little more attention than that in the fall. Follow these simple maintenance steps to help your mower last for years. Some tools and materials you might need for proper maintenance are a drop cloth, a cleaning brush and a putty knife for cleaning off grass clippings, work gloves, a piece of heavy duty plastic, a socket wrench to change the blade and spark plug, a new blade if necessary, a small piece of 2x4, a container for used oil, some fresh oil, shop rags, belts for self-propelled mowers, fuel stabilizer, spray lubricant, a new air filter, a new spark plug, and a tarp for storage. Now before performing any maintenance on your walk-behind mower, read the manufacturer's instructions carefully. And if you're not comfortable working on your mower, contact a professional for help. The first thing to do is find a well-ventilated work area. If you're working in a garage, open the door for maximum air circulation. Use a drop cloth to protect the ground from any spills. To get started, remove the grass catcher. Then brush off any grass clippings. With the mower off the drop cloth, let the engine run for about a minute. The oil will drain more quickly when it's warm. The engine and muffler will be hot, so use caution. Shut off the engine and disconnect the spark plug wire from the spark plug. Now the mower can't accidentally start and it's safe to work on. And since we'll need to tip our mower on its side to drain the oil, we should plug the gas tank. To do that, all you'll need is a piece of heavy duty plastic. You can cut a piece from a plastic drop cloth. Place the plastic over the inlet, then screw the cap back on the tank. This should keep the fuel in the tank when you tip the mower. The oil keeps the engine lubricated and working properly. It should be changed after every season. To remove the oil, you should have an oil pan for the old oil and some fresh oil. Remove the oil cap and dipstick. Some mowers have a drain plug on the bottom. Tip the mower on its side to empty the oil into an oil pan. Be careful to keep oil off the carburetor and gas tank. Always tip the mower either spark plug side up or dipstick side down. Tipping a mower incorrectly will get fuel on the air filter, and if this occurs, the engine can't breathe properly and will run rough or not start at all. Another option when changing the oil is to use an oil vacuum. These systems are easy to use and leave little mess. Now once the oil has completely drained, replace the oil cap and don't pour used oil down the drain. When finished, call your local recycling center for proper disposal instructions. Having a sharp blade is essential to a well-groomed lawn. Take a look at your lawn. If the grass looks torn and ragged, then your blade will need some attention. Tip the mower back on its side to remove the blade. Wearing work gloves, wedge a small 2x4 against the deck and the blade to prevent the blade from spinning. You can also use a special blade removal tool to make this step easier. Then remove the blade with a socket wrench. You can take your blade to a lawnmower repair shop to have it sharpened. Or if you want to do this step yourself, purchase a blade sharpener and balancer at Lowe's. If you need a replacement blade, we carry blades from most brands of mowers. Just give an associate the make, model, and serial number of your mower. With the blade removed, scrape off any hardened grass clippings and dirt from under the deck. If your mower has any belts or belt covers, brush off those as well. If the belts are cracked or worn and need to be replaced, now's a good time to do it. Once the deck has been brushed off, install the new blade and secure the nut. Turn the mower back on its wheels and refill with oil. Use only the oil type that's recommended by the manufacturer and do not overfill the crankcase. Too much oil causes problems when the engine's running, so add the oil slowly in small increments and check with the dipstick several times. This will ensure you've added the correct amount without overfilling. Gas can decompose over winter and actually damage your mower's engine. Rather than trying to empty any leftover fuel from the mower, preserve it with a fuel stabilizer. Simply mix the stabilizer with gas in a gas can following the manufacturer's instructions. Then completely fill the gas tank and replace the cap. Despite what you might believe, a full gas tank is less of a fire hazard than an empty one. You can also purchase a fuel stabilizer gas cap, which automatically releases fuel additives into the gas. It has a cartridge that should be replaced every six months. These caps are available for most lawnmower engines. Just bring your engine make and serial number to the store to make sure you get the right cap for your mower. Now, although the engine is small, there are many moving parts that will need attention. Use a spray lubricant and lubricate all moving parts. Do not use engine oil on the mower's exterior. 
Any excess oil should be cleaned up with a rag. Another important task is maintaining the air filter. If your mower uses a paper filter, replace the filter every season. If your mower has a foam filter, clean it with soap and water. Then lightly saturate it in engine oil and squeeze out the excess oil in a shop rag or plastic bag. The oil actually filters out the small particles of dirt and debris. If there's any sign of wear or damage to your air filter, simply replace it. A damaged air cleaner element can lead to premature engine failure if dirt gets inside the engine. Another item that will need to be replaced is the spark plug. A new spark plug will ensure easy starting. Replace it using a socket wrench. Then reconnect the wire. Before storing your mower, let it run for about a minute to work in the fresh oil and fuel stabilizer. Then disconnect the spark plug wire and place the mower in an area where it won't be exposed to any heat source or gas appliances. You can cover your mower with a tarp. When spring rolls around, here's all you need to do. Wipe off the mower with a shop rag. Check over the mower thoroughly. Inspect all moving parts and remove any debris, including any left by small animals over the winter. If you have the fuel stabilizer gas cap, replace the cartridge. Reconnect the spark plug wire and start it up. To keep your mower working properly throughout the summer season, frequently check the oil and remove any debris. Following these simple steps should help keep your mower cutting clean and starting easy for years to come. For more home improvement projects, check out the other videos at lowes.com videos.